Hi, this is a video of a replacement screen for this HP laptop uh, that I'm that has got a problem with the screen, as you can see in the corner. Uh, and basically, uh, when I went uh, onto the web, I managed to purchase this upgraded IPS version of the screen of the original screen, the IPS version, uh, and I got this uh, from uh, laptop lcd screen.co.uk uh, and it seems uh, a very good deal uh, it was about 50 something pounds and uh, it came fairly quickly by post so this is just a video of how i do the replacement so first of all we've got to get this screen surround off here so this all comes off you can ease it off comes off the screen and it's just held by these little tabs around the edge and this comes off here you just ease it away from the, the screen corners put that to the side and then there's this little bit of plastic here. I'll turn the power off. You don't want that it's going to cause any problems. You hold the key for about five seconds and it'll turn the power off. And then you need something like a screwdriver about like this size, just to ease this bit of plastic out. Maybe a smaller one. Put that side as well. Okay, and to remove the screen, there's four screws here, 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 and here. So we'll turn the take the power cord out, turn the machine onto its back. and proceed with removing each screw in order. There's one. Two. Three. Then move the screen again upright, and then the screen should just come out. Put the screen on its back, undo the connector. It's just a little bit of tape on that to hold that closely in, and then just ease that aside, just ease that out really carefully. And then the power lead comes off. As you can see, this is a replacement screen for this version. And it uh, this is the TN version of the screen. But I'm going to replace it with the IPS version. So it gives you better uh, visual angle uh, on the screen. So it's much better for, for viewing. This is the old screen. I'll put that aside. And here's the, the new screen, comes all boxed up in, uh, in bubble wrap. Here's the new screen. This has got a cover, uh, a screen protector on it, which you can take off after you've finished. 
putting the screen in. So the first thing to do is to lay the screen down onto the keyboard. Put the connector in. Tape over the top. Play the computer on its back again. Line these up with the holes. The original screen. Making sure that everything's fitting inside before you tighten any screws, else you'll end up cracking the screen. And you put in the individual four screws again. Screw it in the corner. Then you can try it. Power cord in. Turn it on. As you can see, the screen is booting up. Take off the screen protector. And the screen is looking good, good colouring and everything. Uh, yep, so I'm going to put the uh, screen surround on. So that hooks just under the front there, each side down here. And snaps on. 
just do that really carefully because you don't want to damage the screen on the edges. And then the last part is the bar that goes along the bottom and that snaps in here, just under these two lugs here. So it slides under. Okay, and there. Yeah, and that's it. Job done.